in 2020, I enrolled in respiratory school and it was during the pandemic. We were in online class and um, we were doing prerequisites and Fidel was literally just a little name icon. I finally met him in person in November of 2020. And that was after having a six month long friendship and I'd had no idea what he looked like at all. And um, when we met in person, we just became inseparable. He, I never laughed as much as I laughed being with Fidel. He's like the ultimate best friend. And then he reminded me of people that I used to hang out with in high school. He reminded me of my old self. And that's when I realized that, oh my gosh, I think I have a crush on him. At the time I was 35 years old and he was 21. <laughs> so, so I went through like a lot of like weird, like midlife. I felt like I was going through a midlife crisis. I felt weird. And then I was just like, okay, one day I drank a lot of wine and I just like confessed to him how I felt. And then um, after that, a few months later, we became more than friends. The rest is history. She would like give me little hints of stuff that she liked me and she'll tell me things like, oh, she'll ruin my life. And if we were in high school, she would definitely like be dating me and stuff like that. So one day she got a little drunk and confessed to me that she really liked me and if she could kiss me and she did and I was really awkward again. So I, you know, I, la I laughed about it a bit because at that point, like she was the first person I ever kissed. So it was like awkward for me. And the way she came on to me, was like, I was like, okay. <laughs> and then eventually, by the time it got to me planning for to marry her, to getting the ring and all that, I already knew, like, during the whole duration of since school, really, that if I was going to be with her, I'm not being with her just to, you know, date her and then leave or anything. I already knew if I'm going to commit to this and be with her, I'm going to marry her. One thing she would always tell me is that she's not a liar, it's hard for her to lie, and she does not like lying to people at all, and she pretty much never does. And to me, that matters a lot. Trust is a very, very important thing to me, so that's another reason why I didn't like getting close to people is for trust issues. Again, from the very beginning, she was very trustworthy, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna marry this girl.